Hi everyone, and today we're going to show you how to make uh, one of these stunning clocks um, that we've got here. This is just made out of canvas uh, with a clock mechanism in the back. Um, but the thing is that you can do your own design however you like. Um, so this is what we've created today and we're going to take you through it. Uh, well, Jan's probably going to take you through most of it. <laughs> I'll just do a little bit. Alright, so without further delay, here's Jan. Okay, so I'm going to go through how I've made that clock. I've got my material here. I've chosen this with a nice African savannah on it. I have got here my canvas. And my first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the canvas on top of the material. And you need a border all around the outside. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera all right. You need a border because you need to pull this across to the back. So then you cut your material out, so it's the very first thing you do, you cut your material out. And then you need some black felt, if you like the silhouette. And out of that black felt you need to cut your numbers. Now on the one we've made, you will see that I've only cut out the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 9. So I've just drawn the number on and then I've cut around the outside making it a little bit bigger. And then I've placed those numbers on the black felt and cut them out. And then I've cut the individual numbers out. If you come over to here, you'll be able to see what I've done. So there's your numbers 1, 2, 3 and 9 and the 9 doubles up as the 6. And then I've laid them down. You need to get this space a little bit better. I've just laid them on there now to show you. Also out of the black felt, I've cut the silhouette of the giraffes. I mean, you can have any animal that you want, but it's either a giraffe or an elephant in my book, or, or maybe a lion, but that's down to you and your preference and uh, your creativity. I've cut this ready because in a minute we're going to need to put the clock face on. Now, in order to make the clock, we need the clock mechanism. The clock hands, so there's a second hand, and we're going to need at the very final part the two hooks and the cord to hang it with. So in order to make the holes in the right place on the canvas, I'm going to, this is already cut, as you can see, I've already cut this piece earlier on, I folded it along where it would go over the edge of the canvas and then I've ironed it down so I know that that is my square of my canvas you can see it's exactly the same size now I know because I've laid that out on there that's where I want my clock to be so now I know that I need to lay that next to it because now I need in the center of here in line with this to be able to mark my hole however it's over to Alan now to show you what he has to do before I can actually Put the clock on. Now we are. I've swung our piece of wood across and I've just slipped it up. If you, if you measure exactly there and put some wood glue on it uh, over there and just slide it up into position, all uh, right. And you can see if you get your mark, that's the middle mark for the clock face to go in there and there. Um, so that's it, really. Now we've just got to leave that to go off for about an hour. It's got some wood glue on it. Uh, and once that's gone, we'll be ready to drill through the front and put our clock face on. Right, well, our um, hood is gone now, it's all glued off. Um, I've marked the centre where this clock mechanism is going to pop through. Okay, well it actually goes that way through the hole, alright. Uh, and then you can hang it on the wall obviously through there. Now, I've marked the position, but if your clock is over a bit, or this way or that way, obviously, you will have to ac accurately measure it out for where the clock mechanism is coming through. Mine is coming through dead in the middle way point of this material which I know is the exact width for that so I know it's in the middle of there so I'm going to drill that now so what I've done there, Alan's cut the hole for me, drilled the hole I've laid my material on, checking I've got it up the right way find where that is and then just make a, a hole through your fabric with the skewer and then you're going to take this off Fold it like that, and then you're going to make your hole. You can always make it a little bit bigger. We're going to cover it with the black anyway, so now I just need to 
round that off. We'll get Alan get get the mechanism through for the clock. But I think this is going to have to come out a little bit, but I've got a black piece to go over it, so it doesn't matter if we go a little bit too far. There's no problem because what I'm going to do when we've finished and the clock comes through is cover it with this so you won't see whether it's slightly ragged or not anyway. Right, what we need to do now is iron this and make sure it's because you can't iron it after so you don't get that finished. So make sure you've ironed your material and then you need PVA glue. You can sew them on, but I'm not going to sew mine on. You get your PVA glue ready. And then, of course, you position everything in place where you want it to go, and then you glue it on. I decided to say, when you lay these, these are all glued on now, but before you actually finally push them down to glue them into place, if you want to see if you can get the distance right, the way, one way you can do it is just to, rather than all the measuring out, just to see whether or not it's equal distance. It's just covering half of that as it flies around. And... The important thing is that you've got it the same distance from this side to this side. Um, you can move them around a little bit when you first blew them down, but don't mess around too much, otherwise you'll mess your material up. Then when you've glued them, just give them a quick iron, a very, very quick iron, because that will, that will firm them up and obviously tidy up the look of the front. Okay, so now you, you lay this down the wrong way round. You pop your canvas in and you've already got your marks your crease marks you know you're going to be able to use those and then it leaves you to double check that it's level so I would do that make sure it's dead level that's what I'm going to have there I'm going to carry over a little bit so it goes over the hole all right and then flip it over and that's got to be pulled very tight now you can PVA glue it or you can use a staple gun and you can staple it in place. Choice is yours. What I'd be inclined to do is I'd be inclined to glue along this edge here first and because of the design that I've got I'm actually going to do the bottom bit first because I don't want them to be hanging over the edge of the frame. So now you can see the glues on here I've put that along there and I'm double checking because this is the crucial part that this is right, that these uh, giraffes are actually walking along the bottom of the picture. And then you pull it really, really tight. Okay, it's lost a little bit. It's just gone up a little bit further round and this has gone up. But don't worry because we've got the huge piece of this to cover that. So don't worry if that moves. You just need to pull it tight. It's really important that it's glued down nice and tightly. So now I've glued this down. You can, if you wanted to, fold it over and get rid of all these raw edges. That, that's fine. But I've folded this down and this side down. They're glued. And now we need to fold the corners so that you don't have a bulk of material. And the best way to do that is just going to keep playing with it. It's just to keep on just folding it in until you get yourself so that when you go like that you don't have a bulk of material on that corner. Now this is why I like to use the PVA because you can build it up as you go along and glue it down and you can really get yourself a nice flat edge. And then we glue it all along here. And then Really push hard, really pull it as you push it down and that will set. And then you have that corner and that corner. Well, it's ready for our clock mechanism now. Now, um, the ones we've got here are fairly short spindle lengths. Um, you can buy them that have got longer spindle lengths, which is probably what I should have done with this one. Um, because when this one goes through, it's very tight to get the nut on the other side. There's not a lot of room. It does just go, but we found it actually looks better um, if it's just glued in solid without a nut on the other side. Even though the black felt does cover, but it, it lifts the black felt out slightly. So I'm going to actually PVA glue this one in place. And once they're gone, they really are solid. They don't go anywhere. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to glue that on there. Well, we're uh, nearly at the finish stage now. Our uh, clock is almost complete. Um, really all we've got to do now is put the hands on uh, that come with the clock mechanism, which I'm going to show you now. And as you can see, all our bits and pieces are on our Savannah timepiece. Um, so here we have 
hour hand, minute hand and second hand. You start with that hour hand, it's got a bigger hole in it, right? That's so it drops down onto the, the furthest part of the clock mechanism. So get it in line and just push it down on. You'll feel it click like that. Do you hear that? That is now clicked on. That's one hand on. I always line them up with number 12. Next we do our minute hand and we do the same thing. We line him up and click him on. There you go, he's on. Okay, all you've got to make sure is that they, they clear each other. All right, so I'd bend the, the second hand down a fraction just to make sure they clear. And then here's our second hand to go on. That goes inside there. Can you see that? It goes inside that little hole. So just push him down inside the hole in line with the others. Click, there it goes. You felt I heard it go. We know that's done. And again, just make sure that it clears the other hands. We'll stick a battery in now and then we'll just make sure that um, it all rolls around okay. Well, there's our battery in the Glock. Okay, so she'll be up and running and, and there she is. She's on her way. Um, nice design and the good thing with this is you can do whatever you want, can't you? It's a canvas, you can paint on it if you would rather, you know, and paint your own thing. Um, it, the options are limitless. And, um, you know, for that end here we have um, a painting that has been done on and this one is different altogether because this one is actually um, a wall tile uh, so there we are um, so that there's another right nice idea um, that's all handmade too you know so there's lots of options with a couple of more over here um, and again you can see our designs for those but it really is up to you it's your call so there we are it's just something else before I go um, if you want to put your own cord across, you know, just, just put these in there, okay? And the very last thing I've been asked about is, is the nut. If you get longer threads on these um, clocks, you, you can get the nut on. I should have ordered them a little bit longer, really. Um, but I've glued them anyway, so they're not going to go anywhere. Um, but, you know, obviously it's probably a little bit bad to get a slightly longer threaded clock, which you can get. They're all different sizes. All right, um, that's about it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, you know where to go, all my videos, usual place, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.